Hey guys, and welcome to my first video on Flight Simulator 2020. Uh, it's about time. Uh, welcome back to the channel, Warspine, and thanks for coming back. So, quite an enjoyable flight simulator. Um, different in many ways to some of the other flight simulators on the market, as I'm sure you're aware. Uh, but very enjoyable. So, uh, today we're just looking at the failures. Uh, we'll jump straight into the action. We're going to use the Grand Caravan for this just because it's a single engine aircraft and it's easier to just look at the failures temporarily. Um, not masses of failures to go through as you can see. Would be nice to have some more and maybe some proper random features on it, but um, not as yet. But you know, they, they might come in the future. So, failures that we have got is complete failure, oil system failure, oil leak failure, fuel pump failure, ignition failure, and fire. So nothing to do with gauges or bird strikes or anything like that. But uh, these are good failures, so we can work with those at the moment. Anyway, quite simple to <coughs> excuse me, quite simple to uh, arm these or get these ready to go. So you just have to click on for enable failure and click on for armed. And then underneath that, it fails in whatever you type in the top box to whatever you type in the bottom box. So in this case, if we was going on an hour's flight. We could set it from 0 to 60. Sometime within that hour, our engine will fail. Alternatively, if we're wanting sort of half that risk, potentially we could set it to 120. So an hour's flight, and then we've got a chance that it, it might fail, it might not. Um, we could lengthen that again, we could put it to 240. And you would like to think that would give you sort of a 25% sort of chance of it failing, to give you some idea. Um, but obviously the higher the figure, the less chance it is to actually fail. Um, on some of the other flight sims, for instance, um, there's a figure that you can put in up to, up to 10,000 hours, which is supposed to be a sort of a relatively realistic time for a, a failure, um, a, a random failure that is, um, whether that's a fuse or something else. Um, this doesn't go quite up to that figure, it goes up to 99,999. And that is in minutes, so it's still quite a quite a long time. Um, the only thing I can suggest, if you are wanting a random failure, is to set every single failure we've got here to on and arm them all, and set them between zero and nine 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 nine, and then hopefully at some point you will get a more random, or it may feel more random when you get a failure. Anyway. That's pretty much how you do it. Set them both to on, enable failure, arm it, whatever minutes to whatever minutes. The higher the figure in the bottom box is, the longer it may take to fail. Anyway, hope that's helped. Um, if there's anything that you'd like me to check out, or if you feel you want to comment on the type of failures we've got here, or what we'd like to see in the future with regard to random failures or any extra failures, then uh, please feel free to leave a comment. Thanks ever so much. Thanks again. Bye-bye.